From Beyond, released in 1986 and was another adaptation of a H.P. Lovecraft short story. Once again, directed by Stuart Gordon and, of course, starring Barbara Crampton. Barbara Crampton, not only one of my favorite actresses ever in uh, the horror genre, uh, but also just one of my favorite actresses and people in general, really. Um, this was uh, another collaboration she had with uh, Stuart Gordon, as well as uh, Jeffrey Combs, who starred with her in, of course, uh, you know, Reanimator. Um, as well as Castle Freak a few years after this one, Castle Freak being my favorite of the three. <clears throat> um, Reanimator usually seems to be the favorite, though, and I, I, I like aspects of Reanimator for sure, but I've always, honestly, between the two, preferred uh, From Beyond. Um, just, I, I just think there's kind of more going on, and it's a little bit more interesting to me. And as well as the fact that Barbara Crampton's character here, <laughs> she actually gets a little bit more to do. In Reanimator, she sort of has more of a cliche, you know, particular function type of character that hasn't aged all that well. But here she got more to chew on. Um, and she's not the only one that has to go through shit. <laughs> um, so she gets a bit, she gets to plan a bit more of her range, which I really enjoyed seeing. Um, and, and again, just the concept, sort of this like inter. I don't know if it, interdimensional is the word for it, but like this other uh, side to reality that <clears throat> Jeffrey Combs' character discovers in this one, and just the uh, sort of the mesh of like a Hellraiser as well as like a you know not not alien but like sci-fi blend, a little bit more heavier on that end. I think actually works pretty well. Um, you also have Ken Forey in here, who is known for, like, uh, you know, Dawn of the Dead. He was even a uh, Bear Grizzly and Rob Zombie's Halloween remake for something a little bit more recent. Um, he's a cop here who ends up uh, escorting them back to, uh, you know, where where these things have happened. Um, and uh, the best comparison I can make about both this and Reanimator, but especially this, is, you know, these movies aren't for everyone, but for me... Uh, <clears throat> especially this one it feels like uh you know when you're a kid and you kind of sneak out into the living room late at night turn on the tv it's static but then like a just gross out you know over the top horror movie comes on that's the same kind of vibe i get from this one um you know there's some pretty good practical effects and again body horror in this one um there's some cg but i actually don't think it's really that distracting um but yeah, you know, it, it is gross out, it is meant to be like overtly, you know, sexual and erotic at points, but it does give the characters a little more to go on in this one, I do think the ending is pretty cool. Barbara Crampton is great, Jeffrey Combs, he's always entertaining, puts energy into it, even if he does ham it up a bit. Uh, yeah, definitely a, a classic cult film. <laughs>